Aquaba guys, <clears throat> good morning, happy Friday. Welcome to another Pillow Talk with Asase Mama. Welcome. I thank you, Laura, for waking us up this morning, breathing life into us yet again another day. I thank God for you, you, and you. I thank you for my new subscribers who felt it not robbery to click subscribe and tune into my Pillow Talks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on in, guys. I'm making room for all of us. Making room on this bed. So come on in, sit down, and we're going to have some pillow talk. Well, <clears throat> this morning's pillow talk is about, well, it's actually a plea. Please stop killing each other. Please stop killing each other. <clears throat> the biggest problem is the world is desensitized to sin, pro-self, and anti-God. Nobody cares about the commandments anymore. Thou shalt not kill. Nobody cares about anything anymore. It's just killing, killing, killing. Our young black men are dying each day at an alarming rate, every day, all day. What is just the 18th of March? We're in the third month. And how many murders thus far? In my city alone, it's at an alarming rate. My husband and I, we often, we don't live far from our former church that we used to attend. And we always see funerals at that church. And it's packed. And when you see a bunch of kids at this funeral, you know what time it is. You already know that person was young. Because when seniors die, I mean, if your family wasn't big, it's not that big of a funeral. Because unless you had a church home and the people of the church attended. But not where you're blocking the block off and you parked all the way around the corner. Because a lot of times, your people died off. Your friends. But not what I'm seeing today. All these funerals, all these babies that are dying. Some of you not even out of high school. It is the saddest thing. It's so sad. And I keep asking God not to let me become desensitized. Because once you become desensitized, then you just stop praying. Say, oh, well, nothing's going to change. They ain't going to get no better. But we still have to pray. Because it's just gut-wrenching. Answer this question. Why when a cop kill you? You tearing up the city. You protesting in the street. You start saying black life matter. And I don't disagree with black lives matter. It does matter. But why doesn't it matter to you? You want to do all this and bust out stores and all of that. But when you killing you, it's very silent. There's no fight. There's no protest. It's just like, oh, it's black on black crime. So why is that acceptable? Why aren't we angry? Why aren't we marching in the street? Not to tear up nobody's business. You don't tear up where somebody have to eat and somebody's trying to make a living for their family. But why aren't we just as angry when we are killing each other? Why? Why aren't we killing it? Why are we killing each other? And why are we not mad? How come it's so catastrophic when white people do it? You should be even the more angry when we are killing each other every day. Why do we give up? Why are we giving up? Why are we just like, oh, well. I am so sick of the excuse. Oh, well, I didn't have my dad when I was young. I didn't have no love when I was young. So this is the streets is all I know. The streets don't have no friends, sweetie. You don't have no friends in the street. And you don't really have no love. Because love, true love, is about giving out correction. And there's nothing correct about losing the fight and you repaying, pay, paying the person back with murder. Why, can you, why you can't just take a loss because you can't win them all? Take a Okay, he got over on me. Shake your hands, shake hands and get over it. And that's it. Squash it. Because whatever you were fighting about or beefing about, it won't matter. Five minutes from now, it won't matter. Now there's no regard for life. 
if you have an argument, you can't even argue. If you have an argument, next thing you know, there's a gun. Somebody got to die because of an argument. You guys, this generation, y'all so weak. Y'all can't handle nothing. When we were growing up, we went to your house. We fought. You got over. We kept coming back until we got over. And we talked about it. But nobody got killed over a fight when I was coming up. This is just ridiculous. And those of you who sell the drugs or felt disrespected because somebody came on your block. Let me let you in on a little secret. You don't own a home you live in nine times out of ten. So how do you own a whole block? Y'all both wrong in the first place for selling drugs. And you you killing somebody because they came in your area. It is so bad now that if you live two blocks away, you're in danger. If you at 66th Street... You better not go to 64th Street. You know, I'm just giving out examples. This is really scary. I'm a girl mom. I have two daughters, but I have four grandsons. And I pray for them. Jonah, Cameron, Ezra, and Zion. I pray for them. And I was sad when they were born because I saw in the direction this world was going. When my first grandson was born, like, this is just too much, all this killing. Now, my last grandson, he's only six months, and I'm like, oh, gosh. Let me let you on another secret. The, mu the music industry, they're owned by the Jews. So the gangster rappers, they ain't gangster. They're being spoon-fed with to say. And you, with your ignorant self, are be is being influenced by it, and you channeling the spirit of the song, the next thing you know, you you acting the you you acting the part. Nobody's dying in the movies. That crap you see on TV, that ain't real. It's an act. It's business. It's all about money. And you're just heavily influenced by this nonsense. So, you think killing somebody? Covers up for a lost fight or an argument. What you going to do when they catch you behind and you go to jail? Because apparently you're a coward and you can't fight. You're going to learn quick in prison. Let me let you in on the third secret. You think slavery was abolished? It wasn't. Sweetheart, you're about to work your young behind off in jail. That's a form of slavery. A lot of companies are reaping the benefits of your ignorant behind being behind bars. Is it fair that mothers have to fall to their knees every single day in pains because either you killed somebody and you went to jail or somebody was being killed? Every day on social media, all day long, Pray for this family, a Janan's are here, funeral here, a Janan's are here, funeral here. The broken heart emojis. Before I used to watch the news and I used to be like, oh my God, Lord, touch that mother. When you see the people hollering and screaming on the news, now it's so close to home. Now it's, I know the mother and the son. If you didn't get shown any love when you were younger, turn it around. And make the difference. A lot of you are leaving your little boys behind. In the grave. Or behind bars. And that's not fair. That's so not fair. I don't live far. <clears throat> from a graveyard. A cemetery. I don't live far. And I'll tell you the truth. It seems as if they're running out of space. Every single day. Digging, 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 digging. How many more spaces can they get? Sooner or later, everybody's going to have to get cremated. That's the way it's going. And it's just so heartbreaking. That's the way it's going. I'm just praying for you guys that you can just listen to what I'm saying. Try to make the difference. Listen to what I'm saying. If you wasn't shown love, nobody never told you. I love you. I need you. And you matter. My girls need you. 
my grandsons need you. You matter because if you are our future and this is what you're doing, what future do we have? What future do we have? Hmm. It's not that I'm fussing. I'm just really hurt. I'm so sick of seeing the pain that families are going going through. And like I said before, it's so close to home. I have nephews, godsons. God forbid if anything like this happened. God forbid. But it's not a thing. It's, it's, it's a thing of the past where you saw somebody on the news. Now there's you know somebody is close to home because it's constant. It's every day. Please take this in. Please take this in because it's affecting everybody. The Bible says no man lives unto himself. Meaning, so whatever you do, it affects people around you. You can't just say, well, this is my business. Not when it's affecting people, when people being affected Somebody have to put money on your books or somebody have to prepare for your funeral. This is not fair, y'all. This is not fair. Learn how to fight. Because if you're not going to learn now, you will learn when you get locked up. And if you're dead, <laughs> it's just going forever. And it would, it's over this dumbest, dumbest things. A girl, drugs, a corner. An argument, a wrong look. It's just that serious now, a wrong look. Oh, so you guys, just please listen to what I'm saying. I say this because I really do love you guys and I care. I care. I really do care. So you guys have a great day on purpose. I love you all. Be blessed.